Hey guys, welcome to the Excel A to Z beginner boot camp, your most popular Excel how to questions. Today we're looking at how we can add in Excel. And we're going to look at four different techniques to learn as an Excel beginner. So the first technique that we're going to look at is how to use the plus operator to add a couple of different numbers within a cell. The second technique is going to be how to use the sum formula in Excel to add numbers or cell. And the third technique is going to be shortcut keys, how to use the alt and equal symbol at the same time, and then also using the auto sum option in the formula bar. And then finally, the fourth technique is going to be how to use a table and then how to sum in a table using the total row option that we have. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is head over to the add using the plus operator tab. And we have a question here. So the question is, what is 1053 plus 1 million eight? Uh, no, I'm sorry, 100,893. So what we're going to do, we're going to just type the equal sign here. We're going to type in 1053 plus 100893. So you'll see that we just use the plus operator to add these two numbers up. And in this case, it would make sense because it's very easy math. Uh, there's not a whole lot of numbers and a lot of typing. So this is a great way of doing this. So if I just hit enter now, you'll see that that equals 101,946. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to pop over to the use using the sum formula tab. And in this case, all we're going to do is type in equals the equals sign. We're going to type in sum and any of the formulas that you use in Excel, you're going to use the equal operator at first. You're going to type the name of the formula or the type of the formula. Then you're going to open up your bracket and then it's going to kind of tell you what you can do here. So it's going to say uh, number one through number two all the way to however numbers, uh, however many numbers you want to actually count in sum. So what we're going to do here is you can actually select each individual if you wanted to. And you'll see up in the formula toolbar here that we have a comma in between each of the cell references. In this case, I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to highlight all of them. So we're just going to drag this down. One cool trick is if we're in the top cell in D3, if you hit control shift, that's going to actually highlight everything. And then we hit the down arrow, it'll highlight all the way down to the nearest stopping point of your data set. So that's now highlighted sum D3 through D22. So it's going to give us the sum of all of these cells. Now we just close the bracket and we hit enter. Oh, enter. And you'll see that the total quantity on hand that we have is 1,887. The other option that you do have when you're using the sum formula, if we wanted to, you can actually type equal sum, not something that normal people would want to do because you have the cell references here, but you could do sum 57 comma 126 comma 134 comma 136 you get the idea when you do that and you put the comma in between as you see up here in the formula toolbar and then you just hit enter it'll make that calculation for you so you see there 453 let's delete that let's go over to using the sum shortcuts tab um, I haven't actually dumped this yet so I'm just gonna go here we're gonna go control C and what I did there was I just hit control shift left arrow and then up arrow and that highlighted my whole data set. You can also hit control plus A to select an entire data set. So let's go back over to the using some shortcuts. I'm going to just hit control V. I like to get rid of grid lines. One way, easy way of doing that is going to the view tab and hitting grid lines. And then I can separate the lines. If I select the whole worksheet, I'll separate it to the most point or the, the largest point on any of the cells within a column by double clicking that and then for the row it would just be the same if you want to double click between the rows okay so now we have the information and data on this tab i'm just going to delete this so a very easy way for using the sum shortcut uh, is the best option literally is just typing alt equals at the same time and it'll automatically do the summation of anything that is above what you have there. And if you were looking at data, it's going to find the data based on where you're located and what makes most sense. So Excel is smart enough to do that. So as soon as that is highlighted, it, it, you'll notice that it highlighted our entire data set. I'm just going to hit enter and you'll see that we've got the same answer there. 
if you had information and data in any of these cells for example and you wanted to do the sum you could also do the same thing alt equals and you'll see that it actually goes from left to right and pulls the data based on what it thinks is the most appropriate in Excel. So you'll see that that's 77. Let's delete that. The next best way to sum things quickly in an Excel spreadsheet is using a shortcut is to literally just click this auto sum up here. You can hit auto sum, which is automatically going to do that. You'll notice that there's other formulas under there like average, count numbers, max, min, whichever you prefer. In this case, again, we're just using sum and you'll see that that has summed everything up for us. Okay, and our last method of summing up numbers in Excel, we can create tables out of data sets, and what that does is it actually structures everything so you can easily use formulas and apply formulas to name ranges that are automatically created within a, a table. If you hit Control T, you'll see that that brings up this create a table and I was just on any of the cells within our data set. And we do have the top row as table headers. So we're going to select my table has headers. I'm going to hit OK. You'll see that that's created a data set. You have a bunch of design tools here. No big deal. Uh, I like the black and gray look. Next thing I'll do is if we highlight any of the cells within the table, we go to the design tab and we then uh, go to total row when we add that total row you'll see that that has automatically made a sum of all the numbers in our data set and you can do anything here you can use average count there's only 20 items there but in this case of course we're only looking at how to sum if you hit sum you'll see that it's 1887 which is um, the same across all of our tabs anyway thanks for joining me in this video today uh, look forward to more videos just like this one in the up and coming weeks. We'll see you next time.